My name is Larry Ball, and this video is an introduction to resolving contradictions. In the final introduction to contradictions video, we are going to show how contradictions are resolved using separation principles. I'm using this material directly from the teaching material found at opensourcetrees.com to show you how to do the presentation. In order to get to this presentation, go to the Teaching Materials tab found at opensourcetrees.com and then scroll down to the second file and download the free PDF Contradiction Wall Charts. In the last video, we left off by stating that we want an ideal solution. We want the pile tip shape to be both blunt and sharp. For most people, this seems absurd or even magic, but we shall see that these types of solutions are actually quite common. As a side note, virtually all technologies hit a barrier as they evolve in the form of a difficult contradiction. Removing this difficult contradiction allows the system to continue evolving. Most inventions that involve the resolution of a compromise are patentable. Let's start with separation in time. We first ask ourselves, when must we have the opposing properties? If the times do not overlap, then we can usually use separation in time. If the times do overlap or are concurrent, we will try the next way to separate. In our case, we ask, when does the tip need to be sharp? When we are driving. When does the tip need to be blunt? when supporting a load, especially under earthquake conditions. Does the time of driving and supporting need to overlap? No, it does not. Then we should be able to separate sharp and blunt in time. Let's look at some of the ways. Several methods can be used. A few will be presented here. The first is rearranging. We start out sharp and then activate a mechanism that opens up. With segmenting, we place an explosive charge in a tip. After driving to a specific depth, we explode the charge and drive it a little further, making the tip blunt. With nesting, we have a shaped cup that supports concentric tubes in a shape that makes the pile sharp. When we get to the right depth, the cap is removed and the tubes are pounded flat. With transformable states, we use a melting tip that remains sharp while it is being driven. Later, it is melted to make it flat. With the method of copy, first we drive in a sharp copy of the pile and then remove it. Next, we put in an actual pile, which is blunt. With prior counteraction, we drive a pile in at an angle. The second pile is driven in until it hits the first pile, making it blunt. Several other methods are shown, but not applied to the pile contradiction. The first is disposing a carrier. This is a method of inscribing soft metal plates that I saw in Thailand. First, a stiff tar is applied to the outside of a soft metallic plate so that it is stiff enough to inscribe. After inscribing, the tar is removed and the plate can be its old flexible self. Adding and subtracting is used to create high and low thrust rockets depending on the situation that it needs to be used. Excessive action is used where a masking is applied to something that needs to be painted. It is easy to paint in a gross fashion. When done, the masking is removed to provide detailed painting. With prior action, paper towels are difficult to tear off. They are cut very slowly but they need to be cut rapidly. In this case, they are first perforated or cut slowly, then they are cut rapidly when the user tears them off. With separating gradually, we ask if opposing properties can be built up over time. This is technically a type of separation in time, but from a practical viewpoint, it is different. The transition from one property to another occurs gradually. Applying this to the pile contradiction, we realize that we can slowly change the pile from sharp to blunt. 
gradually merging is a method where we drive thin, sharp piles one at a time. By the time we finish, the hole is blunt. Repeated use is exemplified by a recirculating water tank where a small amount of water is used over and over, thus achieving the effect of a lot of water. Disposable objects such as paper plates used over time are the equivalent to a porcelain plate. Predictory properties is separation in space. Here we ask ourselves, where must the opposing properties exist at a critical moment in time? For our pile driving contradiction, we ask, can the opposing properties of sharp and blunt exist in different locations? I think that it can, so let's see. First, we consider using two objects. Sometimes this seems a little too simple of a solution, but I have seen this used on problems that stumped experts for a long time. In this case, we drive sharp piles that will go deep and support lateral loads, while other blunt piles support the vertical loads. With guided and nesting, a sharp pile nestles against a blunt pile. With a non-uniform pile, a part of the pile is sharp and a blunt ridge is used to support the vertical load. An attached blunt pile can support a high vertical load. The final principle of extraction shows us that a part that is normally attached can be extracted and used remotely. In this case, a fueling line can contact another airplane while a fueling airplane does not need to con contact. With separation between the parts in the whole, we ask, can the conflicting properties exist at different scales or does one of the properties need to be hidden? In the case of the contradiction of sharp and blunt, I could not come up with a way to separate between the parts and the whole. However, I will show some common examples. Multiplication. A square shape can be made with round shapes, or many small explosions can have the effect of a large explosion. A segmented drug is very soluble until it is grouped or formed together into a monolithic piece. Merging light table pieces into a heavy table or merging thin pieces of glass into a thick piece. With countering, a heavy piece of equipment can be easily moved when countered by another equally heavy weight. For mixtures, reflecting materials can appear absorbing when sandwiched between absorbing pieces of material. Rough pieces can be hidden by combining rough pieces in such a way that the rough pieces face each other. Inflexible pieces of abrasive can be adhered to a flexible paper so that at the large scale the sandpaper is flexible to curve around surfaces, but at a small scale it is inflexible enough to gouge out material. A painting roller can be long by inserting a pole into the handle of a smaller roller, thus hiding the fact that the roller was short. A round shape can be nested inside a square shape to hide its roundness. Inflexible chain links can interact with each other in such a way to make the whole flexible. Flexibility and inflexibility are manifested at different scales. Separation by direction, we ask, does one of the conflicting properties already exist in a different direction or can it be made to do so? In the case of the piles, we notice that a sharp pile is already dull in a different direction. This is an example of a method that is currently used to increase the weight bearing capability of piles. Sometimes they are driven into the ground at different angles to give better support. Note that a round cylinder looks and acts square from the side. A beam can be stiff in one direction and flexible in another.
With separation by perspective, we ask, is it sufficient to only appear to have one of the opposing properties? With the pile driver situation, it is not sufficient to only appear so that it does not pass the test. But we can talk about the methods anyway. By comparison, a short man can be tall compared to a short door, or be short compared to a tall door. Depending on how you look at something, something that is very small can look very large. By using paint or fake materials, wood can be made to look like marble, or a person can appear to not exist if he is wearing camouflage. A facsimile or movie of a speeding bullet can look like it's moving very slow, even though it is actually moving very fast. In separation by response of fields, a series of questions are asked, which are a little complex for this presentation. However, notice that a light bulb is transparent when it comes to visible light, but opaque when it comes to infrared light. In separating between substance and field, no test is given. However, note the examples that the substance and the fields can have opposing properties. Gas molecules can remain unmixed while their energy can be mixed and come to equilibrium at the same temperature. A square shape can have a round temperature field. Stationary field coils on a motor can have a rotating magnetic field.